Hello guys and welcome back to another Adobe Premiere Pro Masterclass. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add text and graphics animation to your videos using the Essential Graphics tab in Premiere Pro. We are going to be learning how to create basic animations like this in Premiere Pro. To begin, the first thing you need to do is to activate the Essential Graphics tab. To do that, come over here to the Windows tab over here and select Workspace and scroll down and you will see Captions and Graphics. Depending on your version of Premiere Pro, you may see graphics. Select the graphics tab or the caption and graphics tab. And this is because we are going to be working with text animation, graphics animation, lower thirds in Premiere Pro. And as you can see over here, the essential graphics tab has been opened in Premiere Pro. Under it, you will notice that we have the browse tab and the editing tab. I'm going to go ahead and delete these templates over here. So under it, we have the browse tab over here. If I select it, this is where we can see our basic text animation templates, graphics templates that we can use in editing videos. And if you come over to the editing tab over here, this is where we edit a graphics that we have selected. To begin, come over to the browse tab over here. Now, what if you want to still have the ability to add some other tabs like the Lumetri color, even while you are working on your project, all you need to do is to come over to the Windows tab over here and scroll down and select the Lumetri color and automatically the Lumetri color will be added to this panel over here so you can just switch between the essential graphics and the Lumetri color and you can always go back to the windows over here and scroll down if you want to add essential sound for example and select essential sound and now we have three tabs in this panel over here like i showed in our previous video of how to add text in premiere pro where you come over here and you select the type tool or you hit t on your keyboard to activate it and you come over here to your monitor and you type a basic text that you want to edit and all of that and maybe you have to come over to the effects control and adjust the scale property over here and adjust the position over here and all of that one other way to add text or a faster way to add text in premiere pro is to i'm going to select this and delete this is to come over to the essential graphics select browse and you can come down and select any of the text templates i'm going to select a basic text template and import it into premiere pro if you have this prompt is because the font that was used in this template is not installed in your premiere pro version you can go ahead and download these fonts for free they are usually free so i'm going to hit ok now the beautiful thing about this is that the text is usually perfectly centered so if you want to edit this text as you can see the moment my cursor came close to it it turned red and this is because the text tool over here is activated. If I select V, automatically, you will notice that the selection tool here is activated. And if I come over here, it doesn't turn red. It's not highlighted. To highlight my text, if I want to edit it, I'm going to select T on my keyboard, which is the type tool over here. And now you will notice that the text over here is selected. Now, if I want to edit this text, I'm just going to select it once and hit Control and A. On my keyboard to select all these text and automatically i can change it to say whatever i want i could say basic text and if i want to change the font of this text all i need to do is to come over to text over here and select font and scroll down and select any font that i prefer i'm just going to look for something that seems a little bit bold and turn over here and notice that it did not change. The reason why it didn't change was that my text was no longer highlighted. So make sure that you hit Ctrl A, let all your text be highlighted and come over here and select a text font. The font has changed over here. And now I can come over here to narrow and in change the font style to bold or I can change it to black over here. I can also come over here and adjust the opacity of the text. If I don't want it to really be visible, or if I want it to really be visible. Another beautiful thing about this Essential Graphics tab is that I can perfectly align it to the left or align it to the center or align it to the right, align to the top, to the right, to the bottom. Alternatively, you can come over to the position over here under your effects control and you can adjust the position to wherever you want it to be. And you can also change the color of your text over here let's say this color is white and you want it to be red all i need to do is to select this text over here and change the fill color over here to red and if i deselect my text now you can see that my text is red but if you want to change the color of your text you want 
some part of the text to be red, some to be white. All you need to do is to select it and highlight the portions that you want to change the color for, for example, and select the fill color over here and change this section over here to white and hit OK. Now, if I deselect my text over here, we have the basic text which shows the white and the red over here. Now, you'll notice that when this text is not selected, we do not see the text properties over here. To see the text properties over here, you need to select your text over here and go over here and select that basic text so that you can be able to see all the properties. One of the reasons why I prefer to use this text template is that, for example, if I want to create a lower third, I could just come over here to browse and select this. Probably I could move this away. And now we have this blank screen over here. If I wanted captions and subtitles for an online use, I could just use the captions and subtitle templates. And all I need to do is to just select this and come over here and highlight them all by hitting Ctrl A. And now I can change the subtitle to say whatever I want. Or for example, if I wanted something that looks like a lower third, I could just select this basic lower third here and place it above that text. Hit OK to take this out. And now we have a lower third for interviews that has the name of a fellow for interview or talking head videos and his positions, just like we see it on the news. And if we select the browse option over here, we could also add credits, film credits at the end, film credits that we see in movies. I don't need to animate them. They are already animated. Both their intro and their outro is animated. And if you select this and you go to the browse property and you scroll down, we even have uh, for football sports where we see animations for football sports. So if I go to the beginning and hit play, you can see that all these animations are happening. I don't need to create it from scratch and come over to effects control and begin to toggle on the position, the scale, the rotation property and be adding keyframes. They have all been edited and applied for me. And for example, now, if I want to change the color of this template, I could just come over here after selecting the template, come over to edit. You'll notice that the edit tab has been activated. Come over to the color, for example, and change the color to a color of Premiere Pro and just hit OK. And within a few seconds, you'll notice that we have changed these middle bars over here. And if you want to change this bold yellow, you select this highlight background color and change it to the shade of pink you prefer and hit OK. And you'll notice that we've also changed that background color over here. You can do the same thing for the whites, the black, and every other thing. You could also change the text over here from saying spot over here. I could change it to say Premiere Pro or just Premiere and deselect it. And automatically you can see that it also makes the text curve just like the other text. And so it's it's a faster way of adding text, adding animation. So you all you need to do is to come over to the browse property over here and scroll down and select whatever template you want. Most of these templates are free. Scroll down, select it, import it into your timeline, edit it to see whatever you like, and you can add it to your videos. And that's it, guys, on how to add basic text templates in Premiere Pro.